I've enjoyed planting a garden and watching the plants grow to produce fruits and vegetables. What does that have to do with Jesus? Welcome to Getting to Know Jesus. I'm Glenn Koppel, Minister of the Word. This week's thought comes from Lesson 49, which is found in Getting to Know Jesus, Volume 4. To follow along in your Bible, our scripture text is in Luke chapter 8, verses 4 through 8. While a large crowd was gathering, the people were coming to Jesus from town after town. He told this parable. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path. It was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. Some fell along the rocks, and when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Other seed fell among the thorns, which grew up with it and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up and yielded a crop a hundred times more than what was sown. I'm holding some seeds in my hand. They could stay in this condition for hundreds of years, even thousands of years. They were wheat seeds that were found in Egypt uh, in one of the pyramids that had been there for a couple of thousand years at least. They were planted and, and they germinated. As these seeds are right now, these happen to be lettuce seeds that you're looking at, they're dead. However, once these seeds are planted in the right kind of soil, they can grow up to be, produce fruit, produce a crop, to help put food on the table. You and I are like these seeds, except we've been planted. The question is, what kind of soil are you planted in? Are you the one who gets, you are the one who gets to decide what kind of soil you're going to grow in. It's not hard. It's not the hard path, or you wouldn't even be watching this video. The hard path is where the seeds can't get in under the soil and get into root, and before they can even start to grow, the birds come along and eat them. Some of you may be allowing rocks in your garden that keep you from growing by not reading your Bible and not going to church and not praying and hanging out with other Christians. That allows your seed to not take root. It, it won't go deep root. If it doesn't give you some deep root, you won't get any, any crops. You won't get anything growing for all the effort that you've been making. Some of you may be still holding on to your past. Those bad things that you did before you became a Christian. Going to drinking parties, using drugs, engaging in sex outside of marriage, or looking at pornography, or stealing from your employer, or, or cheating on your taxes, or other things like that. If you really want to bear good fruit for Jesus, you must make your walk with Him an important part of your life. Attend a Bible-going church every Sunday, a Bible-believing church every Sunday. Pray in your personal life. Thank God for your food every time you sit down to a meal. Pray at the end of the day. Pray at the beginning of the day. Thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. I can have a beautiful day. At the end of the day, you can say, Thank you, God, for helping me get through this day, helping me get through those trials. Now help me to get a good night's sleep so I can wake up tomorrow refreshed and ready to do it for you some more. Getting to start again in a New Jesus Bible study group. That'll help you bear some good fruit, too, because as you study the life and teachings of Jesus, you'll be teaching you and those that are in the group with you to become more like Him. You'll be bearing good fruit, like this tomato on this tomato plant. Let Jesus help you grow into a mighty plant, producing abundant fruit for His kingdom. By the way, not all seeds are the same. Don't try to become like somebody you're not. But be who God has designed you to be. Bear fruit for His kingdom. And let Him have an abundant harvest from your life. To keep up with what is happening, follow Glenn Koppel, GMC for Jesus, or Getting to Know Jesus on Plaxo, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and check out our other videos on YouTube.